Okay, let's take a look at this worksheet. Now, uh, you're required to uh, show your work. I want you to use a separate sheet of paper to show your work uh, because there's not enough room on this worksheet. Uh, so I want you to rewrite them on a separate sheet of paper uh, and show all the steps. And the steps should look just like these that we do together up on the board. I'm gonna do the first six for you um, and that's exactly how your, yours need to look. Um, don't just put answers down. Um, don't just put answers on these first six either. Um, follow along uh, with, with these uh, as I go here and, and fill yours in. Okay, so if we take a look at, uh, at number one here, okay, um, first thing I want you to do, okay, after you rewrite it, is divide the equation into two parts. Okay, we've, we've created uh, two parts of this equation now. Okay, whatever we do to one side, we need to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, we want to get x all by itself. So we got to get rid of the 3 and we got to get rid of the 10. Okay, but there's an order that we have to get rid of them in. We first need to take care of any addition and subtraction um, and, and, and get that, get rid of that. So we got to get rid of the plus 10 first. So we're going to subtract 10. So I want you to show it just like this. You're subtracting 10 on both sides. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you've got to go over and do exactly the same thing to the other side. Very important rule. So these 10s cancel, so you can cross them out. You're left with 3x equals 1 minus 10. Now, 1 minus 10 is negative 9. Okay, use your calculator to help you with that. Don't guess on that or get that wrong. Okay, now we've got to get rid of the 3. And this is 3 times x, so the opposite operation is to divide by 3. So we show division with the fraction bar. We divide both sides by 3. These 3's cancel. x equals negative 9 divided by 3, which is negative 3. Then you can take your answer and try it up in the problem. Make sure it works. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 10 is positive 1. It does check out. Use your calculator to check your work. That's how it needs to look. All of these steps need to be shown. Don't skip any steps. Okay, let's take a look at uh, another one. Okay, here is number 2. Alright, let's divide the equation into two parts again. Two sides. Okay, and we do that with our equal sign. Our equal sign is the divider. Okay, so we got to get rid of our plus 8 first, so we're going to subtract 8. Go over here and subtract 8 as well. Okay, these cancel, so let's x them out. We have a over 5, that's what's left here, we just bring it down, equals 9 minus 8, which is 1. Okay, now we got to get rid of the divided by 5. You find your variable and ask what's being done to it. The variable is being divided by 5. Opposite operation is to multiply by 5. So we show it with a dot here. Okay, these 5's cancel. You can cross them out. We're left with our variable a equals 1 times 5, which is 5. Take it. Try it up in the problem. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. It checks out. Things are lined up neatly. Work is shown. Okay, number three. All right, a little different look to this one, but same steps. Okay, divide our equation into, uh, into two. Okay, we want to get rid of our minus 12. Now, if you want to add the opposite here, not a bad uh, uh, way to go about it. So if I add the opposite, okay, it becomes plus negative 12. I have to add 12 to get rid of it. Okay, just make sure you're doing the opposite operation to get rid of something. Okay, if you're not doing the inverse operation, you're not going to get rid of it. To get rid of a negative 12, I add 12. That gets us back to zero, it's gone. So these cancel. So 8w equals negative 4 plus 12. Negative 4 plus 12 is positive 8. Okay, and now we have to divide by 8 here because this is 8 times w, so we divide by 8. These cancel. W equals 8 divided by 8, which is 1. Now, once again, remember to take your answer and try it. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 plus negative 12 is negative 4. 
or if you go back to your original, it would be 8 minus 12. If you type that into your calculator, you're going to get negative 4 as well. Okay, so there is number 3. Okay, number 4. All right, start it off. Okay, let's get rid of our plus 6 first, so we're going to subtract 6. Right, these cancel. I have r over 2 equals 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Get rid, of, get rid of the divided by 2 by multiplying by 2. Multiply by 2 over here. Same thing on both sides. r equals negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2. Take the answer and try it. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. It does check out. Okay, number 5. Same start to all of them. Okay, this one here, subtraction, I recommend adding the opposite. Okay, so add the opposite before you even start. Okay, now we need to first of all get rid of our 18, all right? So this is a positive 18, so to get rid of it, we have to subtract 18. Go over to the other side and do exactly the same. All right, these cancel and come out to zero, so we can just X them out. We get negative 2Q equals 4 minus 18, which is negative uh, 14. Okay, now, one important thing here, the, we added the opposite, and, and you can see the importance of it. If you don't add the opposite, you've got to make sure this ends up being negative 2Q, okay? By adding the opposite, it makes it a little clearer, less likely to make a mistake there. Okay, now we've got to get rid of the negative 2, so we're going to divide by negative 2. Go to this side and divide by negative 2. These cancel. Q equals negative 14 divided by negative 2, which is positive 7. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so we get positive 7. Now let's try it. Okay, negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. 18 plus negative 14 would be positive 4. Alright, okay. Number 6. Alright, once again, put those lines down, add the opposite here. Okay, we need to get rid of this first, okay, by adding 20 to both sides. That's the opposite operation. These cancel. We have 3j equals 16 plus 20, which is 36. Okay, now get rid of the 3. It's 3 times j, so we divide by 3. Divide by 3. These cancel. j equals 36 divided by 3, which is 12. Now let's take our answer and try it up here. 3 times 12 is 36. 36 plus negative 12 is positive 16. Now most of your answers, I think all of them, are going to come out to an integer. Remember, an integer is a whole number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, and they're opposites. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. You shouldn't get any answers that come out to decimal amounts or, or fractional amounts. So if you get one that doesn't come out, uh, make sure that you look it over. You probably have a mistake. And also remember to check your work. Okay, if it doesn't check out, something's not right, you can go back and hopefully find your mistake. Good luck. Take your time. Show all your work. That's very important. If you don't show all your work, you're not going to get full credit.